Hi everyone, this is Steven with More Than Money, and we are at the 2017 Homeschool Convention. So this thing is amazing, we're in Missouri, we're enjoying ourselves, and we're actually gonna catch up with Mark Manella and Steve Alley of the Timothy Plan. He's the president of the Timothy Plan. So we're gonna head down here. Look at some of this stuff, isn't this amazing? Here we go. All right, we're coming up on Mark and Steve. Look at all this crazy stuff. Mark, Steve, hi. Hey, welcome everybody. We're live. We're live, huh? We're live. Glad you're with us today. Hopefully you can hear us okay. I know there's a lot of noise around here, but um, we're really blessed that you're with us uh, to talk about everything financial from a biblical point of view. And even more blessed because we have somebody that I have a lot of respect for and, and glad that the Lord allowed me to know and uh, our paths cross and actually parallel. Yeah. It's Steve Alley, the Steve. president of the Timothy Plan. I'm glad to be here. Welcome, Steve. Just Beautiful a little Saint background. Louis. Timothy Plan, first mutual fund by prospectus to screen for biblical principles. And that was back, starting back in 1994? 94, 94, April. 94. And uh, been going strong ever since. And in fact, I would say they are the moral standard for the financial community, mm. the Christian moral standard. They've never compromised, and I believe they never will. Enough said, you're going to blush, right? If you keep going. <laughs> so, no, continue. That's fine. <laughs> you. But Steve, I wanted to ask you, we're at a homeschool convention. We're not at an investment convention. Why is the Timothy plan at a homeschool convention? Well, there's a number of reasons that we that we exhibit at homeschools. Uh, one is, is the kids. Uh, we've had a lot of people come by and say they're... Uh, their young child wanted to start an investment and you know learn about stocks and bonds and uh, what better way to start them up than to teach them about biblically responsible investing and, and what a stock is, what a bond is, and how that all plays into their uh, financial future. So and their parents tend to tend to be more culturally conservative or Christian, and uh, we want to expose them to biblically responsible investing as well. So it's been a really win-win. Uh, for us, and it's just great to be here. We've been doing them now, what, uh, all summer long. Wow. Um, but uh, it's kind of a cool event. Very good. You know, it's interesting to think about this. I remember way back when we started off, when you started with the Timothy Plan, when Integrity Investors started, and we spent so much time, energy, and money just trying to get financial professionals to get it. Right. I mean, think about this, Steve. Over these years, how far biblical responsible investing has come. It's pretty incredible. It is, it? It is incredible. Uh, the reason I think that uh, it was it's so difficult to reach the financial professional is they've been taught by Wall Street. Um, and right now we're by we're, Satan himself. We're, Wait a minute. <laughs> well, we're we're talking to Main Street, and and Main Street gets it. Yeah, Main know? Street gets it. Wall Street doesn't. And, That's right. And so we've got to try to reach the the financial planners through the Main Streeters that go back to their financial advisor and say, look, this was really important to me. You know, can you help me out? And if they can't, then they come to Mark, and you know, he takes care of business. Of course. <laughs> You know, that, that's, that's really interesting to me that we talked about 1994. When I say that, it doesn't sound like a long time ago. It seems like it flew, Steve. Oh, it's absolutely. You know, but we're talking about 30? No. 20, 20, 23 20, years? 24 years. Yeah. 20, 23, effect, 24 yeah. years? Yeah. That's a lot of time to that's go by. That's a long time, you know? but it seems like just yesterday, doesn't it? It does. It seems like just yesterday. Yeah. And now many people are waking up to understand. Many Christians are starting to realize their faith is not just on Sundays. Their faith is not just what they do with their giving. Stewardship isn't just how much do I tithe, but it's what I do with God's money. How I utilize it. Am I utilizing God's money for God's purposes, God's way? And uh, that's why you're here. These Young kids that are coming by, I mean, we're talking about 10 year olds. They get it. Yeah. Why did it take 20 some years for financial professionals to get it? I don't know. You is one. I, I is one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I was blessed. The Lord yeah. just slapped me upside the head with a two bar by far many years ago. So 
I, I, I got in on the ground floor there. See, the Timothy plan, it's, it's now 13 funds. It's um, been around gobs of years. Yeah. Um, what do you, where do you see it going? What do you think the future is of BRI? Not just the yeah. Timothy plan, but the biblical responsible investing. That's a good question. I, I really do think, like I stated earlier, that uh, that Main Street Main Street gets it, um, and we've probably been trying to push down. In other words, reach the financial professionals, and they're so ingrained in what they do and how they've been taught that they they don't want to embrace something new. Not that they're rejecting it. It's just it's just hard to change. It's like hard to change a bank, you know. Um, it, it really is. These, these guys are so conditioned to what they do, but. But Main Street, they get it, and and a lot of Christians won't invest uh, in the stock market. They'll in invest in real estate or what have you because they don't know what they're investing in. And now that we're becoming more of a household name, uh, it's easy to uh, it's easier for them to to really understand that when they own the stock, they they become you know um, responsible for for that company basically. So. Um, it's awesome. Uh, it's, it's a really, it's been a really neat journey. And uh, coming up real soon, our, our listeners and followers know that More Than Money Ministries has actually uh, started the process of qualifying financial professionals to make sure that if you're talking to somebody that is saying they do biblical responsible investing, you'll be able to know for sure because they'll have the seal. Biblical responsible investor qualified. That will mean that they understand the Bible. Nice. and the economics of the Bible. They understand biblical responsible investing. They've gone through training and actually have designations from either the NACFC or somewhere else to do it. That they have the resources available to do it. For example, evaluator services, the best screening service there is out there for biblical responsible investing. They'll have the tools and they'll have professed Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and are attending church on a regular basis. So that's coming out very soon. In fact, probably by mid-August or end of August, you'll be able to go out to More Than Money Ministries and search for a BRI qualified prof financial professional in your area. And with that said, I know we're running out of time. Steve, thank you so much for being here. We pleasure. are blessed. Not only that you were here, but that you, your dad, and the Timothy plan has stayed the course for 20-some years and have, have kept the standards high. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And God bless all of you because we know here and more than money that life is so much more than money.